By now, you should have your working scene plus four elevation scenes already set up. Now we need to create the floor plans and sections. And these are a little bit more involved, but not much. The first thing to do is go back to your working scene where we are now, and we need to create section cuts that will generate those drawings. Make sure that you have the section tools available to you on the toolbar to speed things up. These are the section tools here. You see I've got section plane tool, toggle section display, toggle section cuts, and toggle section fill. To do that, go to view, customize toolbar, and here they are, and you can drag and drop them just as before. If you're on a PC, right click on an empty space on the menu bar and select section. Also, let's make sure that we've got the outliner tray open on the right here, as it makes it easier to switch between the different section cuts that we create. Okay, let's start with the, with the plans. To do that, obviously we need to create a horizontal section. So if we start with the section tool, and let's call that ground floor plan. And we'll give that the symbol GF. We can place the section. Now you'll see that if we move around, the tool snaps to the different faces. And because we want a horizontal section, we should click snap to the blue plane. Once we get that, hold down shift to lock that plane and then click to cut the section. Next, we can select the section plane and use the move tool by tapping M or selecting move over here. And let's slide that down to where we want it. Let's say about there. Next, we need to do the first floor section cut. And the easiest way to do that is to keep this one selected and then using either option on the Mac or control on the PC. With the move tool, we create a copy. If we double click that section plane, we can see where we are. Let's call that first floor plan and give it FF. Okay. So now that we've got our plans, let's create some sections through the building. This time they're going to be vertical sections. So we'll click the section tool and let's call this section A. We want it on the red plane. So we'll hold down shift to lock that and then click to give us the section plane and then M for move tool. And we can slide this around to where we want it. Let's go through the living space. Okay. Now, if we want to create one more section looking in the other direction, Let's call that section B. And we want to be in the green plane. So once we get that, we hold down shift and click to create the section. And then with that section plane selected, M for move or use the move tool. And we can slide that to where we want it. Let's go through there. Okay, so there we have two vertical sections and two horizontal sections. Now all we need to do is set up a scene for each. Over in the scenes dialog, let's create a new scene by clicking on the plus and let's call that ground floor plan. Now we activate the floor plan section by right clicking on the section name. If we go to the outliner, we can find the ground floor plan section plane. You'll see it becomes highlighted. 
right click, active cut. Alternatively, you can select it itself, right click, active cut. And then back in the outliner, if we right click, align view, then we're looking straight down parallel to that section cut. We need to make sure that the camera is set to parallel projection again, so that we get a flat view. And we also want to turn off these section planes because they just get in the way. So you see up here, you've got toggle section cuts, toggle section display. If we turn off section display, then we've just got the drawing that we want. Let's zoom in a little bit and then update the scene to save the changes. Don't worry about this just, just for now. We'll get into styles in a little while. Okay, quick tip. If you've got SketchUp Pro version 2018 or later, you'll be able to turn on section fill by toggling it using this button here, toggle section fill. This fills in the space between the cut elements in the model, giving a much neater output. You can choose the color of the fill in the style options, which we'll discuss in more detail later. The same effect can be achieved in earlier versions of the software using a plugin, but we don't really have time to go through that here. Let's update the scene to save these changes. Don't worry too much about how the scenes look for now. We'll work on that later. For now, let's just repeat this process to create additional scenes for each of the section cuts. So first of all, let's create a new scene and call it first floor plan. And if we go to the first floor plan section in our outliner, this is why it makes sense to give these things proper names because it's easy to find them in the outliner. If we right click and make that the active cut, okay? We don't need to align it because we're already in that plane. So we simply have to right click and update the scene. Okay, let's do the section. Section A, if we select section A, right click, active cut, and then right click again, align view. Let's create a new scene and call that section A, and update to save our changes. Okay, one more scene to go. New scene, section B. If we go to the section B section cut in our outliner, right click, active cut, right click again, align view, and then update the scene to save the changes. So now you'll see we've got our ground floor plan, first floor plan, section A and section B. So that's it for this section of the quick start guide. If you've stayed with me so far, most of the hard work is pretty much done. In the next lesson, we'll look at controlling the look and feel of each of these views to get them just how we want. See you there.